Do you have footage um, from back then? I, I might need to check with, um, Can I get with the library. Can I get your Yes, I will. You ready to roll? Good to go. Well, pleased to have with us uh, the Reverend Jesse Jackson. Reverend, nice to see you. Good to be back, Kenya again. Thank you, thank you. Enjoying your stay so far? Yeah, it's been a marvelous stay. I've seen some some great things since I've been here. Uh, a world class election uh, without violence, a world class institution, seemingly the crisis of, of the Rift Valley many years ago, and I would say it's behind us. The violence of 2007 is behind us, and you had an open, free, fair election by world standards. The very close election, uh, and it was a contested election, but the courts ruled that it was fair and it prevailed. And then to see the inauguration, uh, to see three living presidents on the stage at the same time, we had an orderly transition of power. And that's what democracy looks like. Democracy does not guarantee success. It guarantees opportunity. When everybody has opportunity to vote and to express themselves. You agree to agree, disagree. You win some, you lose some, but you participate all the time. And so I think that the whole world should embrace uh, this election here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And Ruben, just talking about uh, transition and uh, you know, handing over, um, was a great day for Kenyans, a great day for the continent, and perceptions that have been held about Africa. Is the narrative changing? It's changing because democracy is growing and maturing. After all, Kenya as a nation, as we know it now, is just 50 years old. America at age 50 was a slaveholding country. Matter of fact, at 250 was a slaveholding country. The matter at 350, a slaveholding country. We've just had the right to vote in America since 1965, uh, two years after Kenya. African Americans couldn't vote. White women couldn't serve on juries in the South. 18-year-olds uh, couldn't vote. You couldn't vote on campuses. You couldn't vote bilingually. You couldn't vote and have your vote counted proportionally. So in many ways, uh, in this new young democracy is growing and democracies have their, have their points of tension. I remember the race between uh, Al Gore and, and Bush. Gore actually won the election and but lost, but he chose American as a nation above his chief joy. Uh, in the Barack Obama, uh, Hillary Clinton election, very tight race. But when it was over, they did not remain apart. They found, uh, President Barack Obama found a place for Hillary Clinton so both could, all winners and no losers. So Barack won as president, Hillary won as secretary of state, and so it's made us a stronger nation. So democracy, when we have thinking leaders, see each other through a tent a big door, not through a keyhole. Mm -hmm. you, you were introduced during the presidential inauguration ceremony as a special guest uh, of uh, the president. How would you describe your relations? Good relations. Uh, you know, about three weeks ago, the first election was over. I talked with President Kenyatta. I talked with uh, then uh, Prime Minister Odinga, because I relayed to both of them down through the years. And, and President King Arthur felt he had won the election, and Mr. Dinger thought it should be contested. He told me he would live with the outcome of the, of the judge's decision. He would not take Kenya back down the road of violence and discord again. He made that commitment. When the courts ruled, that's when Mr. Odinger said, President King Arthur is the president. Now the challenge is for reconciliation. Uh, uh, democracy at its best is not winners and losers. It's winners and winners. There's enough room here for the, the, the special genius of President Kenyatta. The idea of, of millennium to end poverty, that's a big deal. Uh, food for the children in school, sick bodies, uh, bodies malnourished become sick bodies and they cannot be productive. 
Now they put a computer on the desk of every child. That's big stuff, uh, forward looking by President Kenyatta. On the other hand, look at the, the, the global effect uh, of leadership of, of Brother Odinga. When he walks in the UN, it's kind of like magic. In the nation, he goes to around the world. So you have the special genius of, of President, uh, Deputy President Rotu. You have Kenyatta and the great legacy of, 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 of his own leadership service and that of his father and that of Odinga. It just shows how great Kenya has more to offer than world-class runners. <laughs> he has world-class politicians too. <laughs> so much to offer. Um, Reverend,